Hi, I'm Dr. Srinivas Prasad, Senior Consultant uh, Interventional Cardiologist at Fortis Hospital, Panigata Road. Today, I'm going to talk about a topic about how to reduce the risk of mortality during our high risk angioplasties. Or, to put it simply, how to reduce mortality risk during complex angioplasty procedures. So, complex angioplasty or a high risk complex angioplasty is a procedure wherein we do an angioplasty to protect patient's life wherein other options like a redo bypass surgery or a fresh bypass surgery or some other option is not available at all. And these are very critical patients and they do have a lower heart, heart pumping function. In case if you don't employ a proper methodology to protect the circulation to the other parts of the body like brain, kidney, they might suffer during an uh, mini arrest or a mini cardiac arrest during the procedures which might occur on multiple occasions and that can lead to irreversible damage of brain and kidneys. Why this happens? Because already these are the people with a uh, low heart pumping function and they don't have an enough pumping function to deliver oxygenated blood to other parts of the body. During the procedure when we are obstructing coronary blood supply there are chances of cardiac arrest happening. These can occur on multiple times and most often we do some kind of a chest compression and the patients might come out. Once the procedure is successful, likely the heart is going to become normal. So these patients would, uh, if at all, if they are put on certain supporting systems, wherein uh, the supporting system can take care of the perfusion of other vital organs, we can ensure that the patient can become normal at the end of the procedure or shortly afterwards. So the methods, we use three methods mainly. Across the globe, these are uniform. The first one is the conventional balloon pump, also called as an IABP. But this has got a limited tool and that can only function as long as the heart is beating. It does not support the circulation if at all if the heart comes to a standstill. So the second one is an ECMO, wherein we place two cameras, one in the artery, one in the vein. What it does is, it sucks the blood from the venous side, oxygenates the blood on the external machine and then pumps it back in the arterial circulation. This can as well supply the oxygenated blood to the body during the procedure. However, what it doesn't do is it does not prevent the heart from ballooning off because the whatever blood is remaining within the heart can make the heart to keep ballooning off and ballooned out heart loses its vitality and uh, recovery is very, very unlikely. The third, which is the most effective one, which is available worldwide and now in India, we also have it in our centers and also in India for the last two years, is uh, Impella. This technology is almost around uh, 20 year old technology, but however, its availability was an issue till recently and for the last two years, the availability has been good at net foot as we keep doing this. What this does is, in, this is something like a world's most miniature heart pump. It just works like an artificial heart. Here we put a camera or a device into the heart, which actually projects also into the iota. What it does is just like a submersible water pump, it actively sucks all the blood from the heart and pushes into the iota so that the blood can reach out to each and every part of the body and each and every vital organ in the body. So even if the heart stops, it continues to keep sucking the blood and pushing it out actively to the circulation so that you don't have to do any other chest compression nor patient will lose consciousness or patient will become even immunically unstable during the procedure. With this, we can quickly finish off all the required procedures at post procedure, generally these people can have an improved heart pumping function and the impeller can be removed within few hours or if needed we can also keep that up to one week and by the time the heart would generally recover and we can remove this pump. Food is we have been doing these cases often regularly now for the last two years and uh, together we have done almost around 11 to 12 cases till now. Thank you.